After Hours continues on Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. This is also Bell Let's Talk Day, dedicated to changing and removing the stigma associated with mental illness. You need not stay silent. Uh, that's the message that you'll find at mindcheck.ca, uh, the Vancouver Canucks initiative, the memory. front of the movement. He's here to tell us about it, but before we get to that, we got to find out if you're okay. Uh, the rookie, Ben Street, playing his first NHL game tonight for the Calgary Flames. Caught you right on the schnoz. Oh, in all, oh. <laughs> in all fairness, I gave him a little chop on the wrist there right before, but uh, with, you know, 10 seconds left in the game, that's the last thing that you want is an elbow <laughs> in the chops. I couldn't even go and celebrate with my teammates after. You are I'm, okay. I'm okay now. You're okay. Warrior. Yeah. Perfect. You didn't have to go to the quiet room. Man. No, Sit no, back no quiet room. Okay, I'm, good. I'm good to go. So. All right, the website uh, was launched just over a year ago. What can you tell us uh, before we get to hockey talks about the inroads that uh, mindcheck.ca has made? Well, uh, mindcheck is, was relaunched actually a year ago uh, in January. It's, uh, it's done very well uh, since. We've had over 130,000 new visitors. Um, even more telling is the, uh, the self-assessment quizzes that take a little bit of time to fill out. We've had over 56,000 people fill those out. Uh, great feedback and um, you know it's done a lot of good for a lot of people. I've had a lot of uh, stories where people showed up to the rink uh, during the lockout at UBC there and broke down in tears in my arms yeah. and, and just and thanked me for, mm -hmm. for the work I've done with the website. It's not really me but it's the website and all the help it's done. It's, it's given these people a channel to, to use to get better so it's been doing awesome. And other than coming on shows like this, how, how do you keep the momentum going? I mean now that people know where to reach out, uh, they, they've got some interest in it, how are, what are you going to do to keep pushing this forward? Well that was the thought process behind uh, Hockey Talks. Uh, it's uh, The initiative is a month long uh, awareness campaign and it, like you said it's a seven uh, Canadian NHL cities we're hoping to get to the point where it's uh, all 30 teams participating next year much like uh, um, hockey fights cancer yeah. um, it's, it's just continuing that conversation like you said continuing the momentum that we built last year uh, and continuing Rick's legacy uh, and give credit where credit is due it's a wonderful initiative and TC Carling who is the vice president of communications for the Vancouver Canucks has had a lot to do with getting the other Canadian teams on board yeah TC has been uh, phenomenal like you said his idea from the beginning he's been visiting schools uh, province-wide uh, talking to kids and uh, his work doesn't stop. Uh, Rick confided in him and, and, and let him know that he wanted to, to reach out and help younger people suffering from mental health uh, issues, and TC's carrying out his wish for him. You knew Rick Rippon for, I think, about two and a half or three years before he confided in you. Um, are you left to conclude that he, he didn't do it until two and a half or three years into the friendship because of the stigma? Uh, you know, only he knows that, but you got to think so. You know, he, he was battling uh, these issues for a long time, and he kept it to himself. That's what kind of guy he was. Uh, one of his biggest things is he didn't want to burden other people. Um, he wanted to deal with things himself. Um, he did for the most part, and he still made it to the best league in the world uh, doing so. And uh, you know, once he thought he needed help, he reached out to me, and we got him the help we needed to. Well, you mentioned before you found the, the impact it's had on some of the people and the stories that they, they finally, once they aren't afraid to come out and talk, uh, tell you. Mm. What impact has that had on you and, and listening to that and being a part of that? Well, it's, it's definitely been an eye-opener. You know, I've had to really educate myself in the last few years about mental health. And, um, you know, there's luckily there's been a lot of public figures come out and speak about it. You know, Michael Landsberg's a big advocate right. of it, and he's done a lot of work on through his show off the record. Um, you know, all we can continue to do is, uh, is build the conversation and, and raise awareness, uh, get rid of the stigma associated with it, keeping it to yourself. You know, a great analogy was made that when you, you sustain an injury in hockey, you go into the trainer's room, doctors look at it, you get an MRI, surgery if, if need be, medication. Uh, mental health isn't the same thing. You know, people are keeping it to themselves. They're not voicing uh, their issues, and they're not seeking help for it. Yeah, but there is a similarity in that if you have an ear infection or a concussion, you require medication to get over the pain. Why wouldn't you take medication to deal with mental health issues, right? Yeah, well, I, I'm not the expert, but every, every situation is different. Obviously, medication is one option, but it, it's not the only option. All right. Here's a tweet from uh, Joe Van Here. Ask him if the Rip and Mind Check t-shirts are still on sale online. <sighs> yeah, well. They're a popular uh, item around they here. They are, yeah. I've had a lot of people ask me about that. Um, well, I think they are on sale still, and um, uh, the Ricky Rip Foundation is actually online. 
Uh, Wes, his older brother, launched the uh, the website finally a couple weeks ago. They're selling merchandise on online there, so you can check that out. And you had Wes drop the puck here uh, last week against Chicago, so you've remained close to the Rippin family. Uh, let me ask you this: What do you think Rick would think of this dialogue? He would think it's great. He, uh, I don't think he'd want to be at, at the center of attention, but he'd he'd be happy with uh, you know the help it's doing. Uh, his big thing is he wanted to help out children. He was big in the community, and uh, he wanted to help people suffering through the same illness. The theme of Hockey Day in Canada is, or has been, heart. Did you ever see a player with more heart than Rick Rippin? No, I don't. I don't think anybody in this building's ever seen a, a player with more heart. And you know, you, you see all the David versus Goliath fights that he yeah. had against guys that are six foot seven, six foot <laughs> eight. Just a fearless, fearless competitor and a, and a, a great teammate. And and the guys that play with them and the people that seen him play uh, saw that every night. All right, uh, mindcheck.ca and Hockey Talks as the Canucks and all seven Canadian teams uh, fight the stigma associated with mental illness and in so doing attach a whole lot of meaning to the life of the late Rick Rippin. Congratulations on your efforts, Kevin. Really appreciate it. Me. All right, back to conclude the proceedings on After Hours from Rogers Arena in a moment.